Hi, and welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Soldiers in Postman's Uniforms, the defense of the Polish post office in Danzig during the Second World War. Uh, the day of this recording uh, is September 1st, 2021, and that would have been 82 years um, since, uh, since this event happened. So the game is designed by David Thompson and Mikhail Kochman. It's produced by Dan Versen Games, DVG. And uh, we're going to take a look at what you get in the box. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Oh, Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and click the bell. One ringy dingy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a big heavy box. This one, uh, you're not seeing double. So we've got the rule book, first and foremost. Big heavy, glossy uh, rule book with uh, full color, uh, large print, which which will be helpful. Um, see, it clocks in at, uh, let's see, I'm gonna guess 36 pages. Oh, I was wrong. Well, no, I'm actually right, it's 36 with front and back covers. Um, so it gives you a little introduction to uh, the events that this uh, models and it recommends a companion book. Um, oh, it's actually from DVG, the companion book. Uh, provides historic details about the battle and design notes about the game. So you can get a print version from DVG or download it from digitalcapricorn.com. Table of contents. Um, uh, the rules go for about 30 pages. Well, the introduction. Rules go about 28 pages, and there's some variants and references. So they go through explaining the counters, how to set up the components, so on and so forth. So, there is the details of that, the rules. And then we've got the game board, which comes out, multi-fold here. Hopefully this is coming out, so it's a three by two. Hopefully you're seeing this pretty well. It is a, it's very dark uh, design. It's very easy for me to read here, but the camera I don't think is picking it up well. So let's take a look here and see if we can't um, get a closer view. A little better view of the, of the board here. Sorry about the lights glaring. So you've got this status track here, panicked, shaken, emboldened, very morale track. Uh, the interior of the post office is displayed. It's very nice artwork. And we see the locations where people can occupy soldiers and uh, soldiers in postman's uniforms. And then the outside track, similar to Castle Eider and uh, um, the other one in the series that I'm drawing, I'm like, uh, Pavlov's house. Um, in terms of the makeup here. So, even though it may not be showing well on, on the big camera, I just wanted you to see it. So that's the board. And so it's three panels by two panels. Very nicely made. And then we've got six sheets of counters here and they are uh, pre-rounded if they're uh, slight rounding on the square counters and then they're obviously rounded if the, the Germans here are just rounded counters so good luck getting a corner rounder on that thing so they punch very easily very cleanly uh, we've got uh, weapons we've got obviously the civilians I say obviously that's my guess as to what they are so that's one sheet, there's the markers, and then we've got sheet two. Sheet three. Got the SS showing up as well. The regular Germans and the SS. Sheet four. Five and 
6 with some DIY counters here if you want them. So, use those for something else. All right, so we got the six counters. We got your reference sheet. I should mention this game is designed for solo. Um, so, these are reference cards. Now they're on glossy cardstock, and I assume that they're made to, to cover the the uh, the the, uh, uh, the turn order. Um, So you can just have them as a ready reference instead of instead of having another buying something else, and you can sift through them instead of having them be a big floppy uh, card that you got to keep folding back and forth. You can just have them straight up as sheets. So it's a pretty cool cool add for that. We have four four red pipped dice and two black straight up number dice. So we're going to check those to see first of all. As always, make sure they roll, and they do. And the number dice are not traditional. These may be count down, count up dice possibly. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Interesting to see how those play out. It's very interesting. I'm gonna me got me curious here as to how that's gonna play out. So anyway, so you get the six dice. And then you get the a bag of, of markers and cubes. Uh, all sorts of colors here. There's like a, a few red and there's one dark red, which may be something else, and then blue and black and yellow and gray and white. It's almost like uh, Joseph's amazing Technicolor dream coat. Got those, and then we've got some decks of cards. All right, so here's the card decks. So this whole deck here has attack one. Seems to be pre-sorted for you, so we have two attack decks, attack one and attack two midday here. And then we've got tactics cards and tactics three, tactics two, tactics one, which makes me think there's gonna be an attack three here somewhere. And there is attack three. So there's three decks, three decks of tactics and three decks of attack cards. Um, there's a couple of extra twos thrown in here given the nature of how card decks are made. So we'll throw those there. All right, so let's just take a peek at attack one, the first attack. Um, we've got various cards here. We've got a grenade bundle, uh, Geert's leader. You place one to two blue, remove the card from the game. Heinrich leader, Willer leader, Willer, machine gunners. So it's very, David Thompson has designed some really awesome uh, games and uh, uh, he knows his stuff. So really looking forward to this one here. We got Rifleman. So we'll see how those go out. That's attack one and obviously it's probably gonna get worse when you get to attack three here. Now we got a fire truck in game at the end of the turn. So I guess that's the end of the game guard and you that when that gets drawn. Uh, you got a howitzer that attacks each floor with a four. You got machine gunners again. SS Rifleman, the SS have shown up now, submachine gunners. So. All right, so those are the attack cards, and then the tactics card, I assume, are, are used by the player. And so, for instance, here on uh, Tactics 1 Morning, after resolving a submachine gunner card, place a second submachine gunner counter in the same location as the first, and then advance the counters as normal. So that is not good for the player, so we'll see how that works out. So, day two, day three, so. Anyway, if you pick up a copy of Soldiers in Postman's Uniform, you're going to get three decks of cards, three attack, and three tactics decks. And you're going to get a set of cubes. You're going to get five turn order reference sheets. 
four, turn them to reference sheets. You're gonna get six sets of counters, sheets of counters. You're gonna get this beautiful game board and you're gonna get a 36 page rule book along with the previously mentioned six six-sided dice. And that is what comes in. DVG and David Thompson and Mikhail Kochman, soldiers in postman's uniforms. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!